If you've been trying to figure out how to get your Facebook reviews page link, it's actually pretty straightforward. So I'm going to show you where to grab it and then also how to go ahead and request reviews on your Facebook page. So we're going to use Best Buy as an example. Uh, you know, most all businesses are going to be set up similar on Facebook. They'll have a Facebook page that'll look something like this. This format might change over time, but at the top left here, underneath the logo and their address and their location and star rating and everything, we should see this reviews tab right here. When you click on that, you can see all of their Facebook reviews and recommendations and everything. Uh, this Best Buy, I guess, is not doing so hot on Facebook. <laughs> Only got 3.1 out of 5, but neither here nor there. Um, the important thing to note is that this is actually a specific link right here when you click on this and what you can do is actually just right click right here and then use this copy link address option that's going to actually copy the link to your reviews page and then uh you can use a template you know something like this to actually request reviews from your customers so something like, hi customer, of course you'd put the customer's name in there. Would you mind leaving us a quick review by clicking the link below? It really helps us and can be a big help to your neighbors. Thanks, really appreciate it. Share your experience. And then it's, you know, facebook.com forward slash whatever the location is, and then forward slash reviews. And then you can actually remove this part. Anything after a question mark is typically going to be for tracking purposes. So basically Facebook is saying the way I got to this review page is from an internal page, which is the home page of the Facebook account or the Facebook business page. Anyways, we don't really need that information. So we can just delete that. I'll put a space here so you can see this actual link here. When somebody, obviously this would be like an email, you could even send this in a text message, but when somebody gets this and they're like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, leave, a, I'll leave a review here. So they click on this and that's going to take them right to the reviews page and it's going to say, do you recommend? And you can say yes. And then you know, your clients can go through the whole process of recommending your business on Facebook. So it's a pretty straightforward process. You just need to make sure you find your Facebook business page, which will have a like button right here. If, if it's your personal account, then it's not going to allow you to do reviews, right? Because you can't have reviews for a personal account. It's only for business pages. So if you don't have a Facebook business page set up, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can uh, learn how to get one set up. But once you have one set up, then you can come right here, click copy link address, create a little template, drop your link in here. It might be beneficial too, after removing this, um, to put this in a link tracker, like Bitly is a, a really popular one. It's a link shortener, so it makes the link <laughs> not nearly this huge. Um, you know, it might make it like this long. Uh, that way people are just like, huh, I wonder what this is. And then they click on it and they get to Facebook. And then by that time, they're actually just reading your, and they're like, oh yeah, I had the similar experience. They leave you a review. Next thing you know, you're clicking a whole bunch of Facebook reviews and having that bit.ly shortened link will allow you to track how many people are actually clicking on the link, which can be helpful as well. So if there's anything you did have questions about in terms of how to get your Facebook reviews page link or how to actually request reviews on Facebook or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm gonna show you how to set up an SEO friendly business name right from the get go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, 
everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> Best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.